What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we need to talk about what's going on in the stock market and why we're all likely in my opinion to be making a bunch of money over the course of the next week and beyond because we've got some big catalysts incoming and some very positive news for those catalysts that we're going to explain here today and we're going to start off taking a look at the S&P 500 and noting that we are up today and that we're actually up over the past 30 days. Look at this, we're finally starting to really enter a big recovery. We've been falling and falling for months and we are showing big signs of recovery. That's going to, in my opinion, be strengthened when we get the release of the CPI data next week, one week from today, Wednesday, August 10th, we're getting the next CPI report out. And this is the big one where I expect things will be really turning around and where investors will really be shedding a lot of the fear that they've gathered over the past couple of months. Because if you look at the inflation numbers that we've seen, they have been monumental. They've been huge. We've seen these big numbers coming in month after month after month. And investors have been getting very, very scared. Every month they see these numbers go up and they just get more and more fearful. And this next CPI report, we actually have analysts expecting, forecasting, the highest forecast they forecast during this whole thing, the highest forecast they've ever done. 8.9% is what they're expecting for the inflation numbers. That's the highest one that we've seen throughout this whole escapade of high, high inflation. And I think, personally, I think they're going to be wrong, right? I think that they're going to get it a little bit too high. I think that we're going to see inflation lower than where they think. And there's a couple of reasons. First off, if you look at where inflation is, it's mostly in a couple of key categories, and a lot of those are driven by the price of oil. Oil has been skyrocketing over the past couple of months. You can see gasoline prices up 48%, airfare due to the oil costs up 37%, transportation, oil-based, right, up 19%. Household energy, a lot of oil goes into that, 19%. You can also see food at home up 11.9%. A lot of these categories are actually on the decline. If you look at the price of oil today, you can see it's down 2%, and you can see that it's actually been falling dramatically over the past month. The month of July is going to be dramatically lower than the month of June. June was up here where we were seeing some of our peaks, and the month of July has just been falling down and down. You can see August, we're continuing to fall, and things are looking very good from an oil perspective. The price of oil is nothing to worry about, in my opinion, in the month of J uh, July for their CPI report right there. And also the price of wheat. You can see that as the month of June was uh, starting up over here, we were still near some of our peaks. The price of wheat, very important. It's a staple in the United States. It's a staple around the world. That goes into a lot of the home food prices. Even if you're not eating the wheat, potentially the animals that you're eating are eating the wheat. And you can see that wheat was very, very expensive in the month of June. We started to see a decrease, but only towards the end of the month. The month of, the month of July just continued to fall, and we've actually settled around where we were before these wheat prices skyrocketed. We're actually lower than where we were in November of 2021 when markets were at their peaks and inflation wasn't as bad as it currently is. And these are the kinds of indicators that I like to see that the biggest inflationary categories like gasoline, airfare, transportation, household energy, uh, and food at home are likely going to be falling, and not just falling by a little bit, but falling quite dramatically. And, you know, I don't think it's just me that's noticed this. Obviously, a lot of people are buying up stocks in the market. Later today, we might make a video on what stocks I've been buying. I did buy a couple of stocks today, a couple of different stocks that we haven't talked about too much on the channel yet. Uh, but a lot of investors are starting to notice this. You can actually see that we just got into neutral territory on the fear and greed index. We haven't even gotten into greedy territory, and stocks are already starting to blow up. They're starting to move up in by multiple percentage points per day. It's really exciting to see. And over the past couple of months, yes, we were in extreme fear territory. You can see we've only gained over the past couple of months as people have been less and less worried about what's going on in the world. We were just a week or two ago in fear mode, and a couple of weeks before that, we were in extreme fear mode. I expect that over the next couple of weeks, especially with the coming of this CPI report in a week from now, we could even get into greedy territory, maybe even extreme greed, if we really see get some good stuff in the market. And uh, that would be my hope, right? Because the S&P has, uh, has not been at all-time highs for a very long time, and especially smaller market caps talks in the Russells. It's been even longer for them. It's been a very long time since they were at all-time highs, and they've fallen quite a bit, very, very far for smaller market cap stocks. And, you know, the analysts, sure, the analysts are expecting 
uh, pretty high forecast of 8.9% for inflation. I think they're probably wrong about that. I think we might get it lower. That's not a guarantee. That's just my opinion. But, you know, we actually have the quote for the end of the video today coming from a subscriber, a subscriber, Danny Mack. Thank you very much for submitting this quote in the comment section below. Anyone else who wants their quote, feel free to put it in the comments below. And if I like it, I might choose it. But he said his quote right here is the majority can be just as wrong as the individual. And, you know, that's exactly what I think is going to go on with those analysts. Uh, the people expecting high inflation to continue, I think they're probably going to be wrong. I think they are probably going to see low inflation, but this is important, uh, you know, in other circumstances, right? Guys, always think for yourselves. Never let the majority tell you what's what. Everyone should think for themselves and come to their own conclusions. Don't just listen to an opinion just because a ton of people are espousing it. Just uh, think for yourselves. Do what's right in your opinion, and the world will be a much better place if everyone does that. So that's what we've got today in this video. Just a quick market update, letting you guys know what I think is going to go on over the next couple of weeks for the overall market. Other than that, guys, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.